that as a leader, it's important for you to be right at the end of the meeting, not at the beginning of the meeting. And there's a lot in that phrase because when you kind of grow up as an individual contributor, which we all do to start, uh, you progress by having a good point of view, being able to advocate and convince others. Well, the higher up you go, the less you know about everything that's going on. You just do. There's no way to know all that. So instead, what it comes down to is you have to start becoming really good at drawing facts and opinions from everybody else. Once you can start to do that in a way where everybody feels comfortable about doing it and you don't get the normal polarization that you do, you will start to make better decisions because you've got all the facts and you've got all the opinions. Well, learning how to get facts and opinions from people uh, takes a little bit of time. And the best way to do it is to not advocate at the beginning of the meeting. You know, pose the problem, pose the potential issue, talk about a range of options, and let the discussion flourish. And in fact, sometimes uh, uh, take the point of view of somebody who disagrees with what you might think. And by the same token, when somebody says something you think is correct, don't advocate for it because people will catch on. But that ability to um, uh, learn how to conduct a meeting so that you get all the facts and opinions and you make a good decision really matters because at the end of the day, nobody will measure you on were you right at the beginning or not. They'll measure you on did you make a good decision.